hello guys in this video i'll show you how you can accept recurring payments within your wordpress dashboard without woocommerce or any complex uh, e-commerce plugin because you don't need to use a complex uh, e-commerce plugin like woocommerce or easy digital download to accept recurring payment or donation with a very simple plugin and very simple setup you can accept recurring payment with WordPress for this you need to go to plugins and you need to add a new plugin which is free and you need to type WP pay form here is the plugin stripe payments plugin for WordPress by WP pay form by WP manage ninja LLC uh, one thing I want to let you know that not only stripe you can also use PayPal with this plugin don't confuse with the name so install it now activate this plugin so here you will see a um, WP performs in your sidebar and you need to go to your WP perform sidebar so you can set up the keys of the um, payment module etc with the free version of WP perform you can only use stripe if you want to use PayPal you need uh, you need uh, WP Performs Pro so you can just go to WP Perform Pro by clicking here I'll give a link in my video description so you can go ahead to the website and get WP Perform Pro here is WP Perform website it has annual and both lifetime license so you can get a lifetime license for single site so you won't need to pay again for this plugin and this is a quite nice so i'm going to upload the pro version of the plugin i already have it so so here's my wp perform pro zip file and i'm going to upload it and install it so i'm going to now activate this plugin so here i have both wp perform and wp perform pro as well so i'm going to now wp perform pro tab and i need to set up the license key and before that i i need to go to the um, i need to active the license so from the wp performs pro you need to go to the settings and from the licensing you can enter your license and just activate it go ahead and do that now i'm going to set up stripe and paypal to accept payment so here i have both uh, test mode and live mode available okay i'm going to use the test mode for this uh, demonstration purposes when you want to go live and accept payment you need to use your live keys now go to your stripe dashboard log into your stripe dashboard and get the keys you will get the keys very easily or you can read a um, after login you will get the keys both test keys and live keys I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to enter my test keys here so here I have activated my stripe test keys uh, you also need to do so go ahead and do that you can also use your company or business name or a logo for your checkout page okay so I'm going to add a dummy image here just for demonstration purposes and for this I'm going to use uh, okay my image so send from input data to stripe metadata if you also want to receive the form input into your stripe dashboard you need to check this I'm not going to do this and when you are accepting recurring payment this is very important you need to set up this webhook in your stripe dashboard so I recommend you log into your stripe dashboard and set up this webhook for recurring payment and you are good to go i'm going to save the settings here now let's come to paypal and inside paypal you can use both live and sandbox mode also as you know and i'm going to enter my paypal email here so i have entered my paypal email and here disable ipn verification option available when you go live you need you need to disable this but as i will test it 
with PayPal sandbox mode, I'm going to disable IPN verification. I don't need IPN verification in the sandbox mode. Okay. So for checkout, PayPal checkout logo, I also use the previous image I used for Stripe, which is, I believe, my image. Yeah. Okay. So you can set up the payment success page. I'm going to leave it default. You can set a payment success page or payment fail page with any page you want. So I, I have saved all the settings. So my Stripe and PayPal, PayPal sandbox and Stripe test is okay to accept the test payment. Now I need to create the form. So to create the form, I, I need to go to the all forms from the left sidebar here and I'm going to click on create form. Here you will find couple of uh, template to use for. I'm going to create just a blank form for demonstration purpose. And I'm going to take the name field here. And after name field, I'm going to take the email field after name. Okay. Fine. Now I need to add a recurring payment item. So as I want to accept recurring payment, either donation or for a product or for a service, doesn't matter we need to add a recurring payment item and we are going to set up the item okay so subscription item i am leaving it as default this is required field okay so price level definitely we want to show the price level and show payment summary yes we will also want to show payment summary and from here you can choose a just a simple recurring plan or you can give option to user so you have two recurring plan and user can choose any one of them so i'm going to use just simple recurring plan a single plan which is going to be like uh, 11.99 per month like Netflix charge. So I'm going to, this is the level, okay, plan name and this is the value. So I'm going to use 11.99, which is uh, the one month charge for Netflix actually. So if you are accepting donation, this field is very handy for you. Enable user input amount. So when you are accepting donation, so you don't know how much the user will pay. So you can just leave lead to them so user can just input their amount and pay i'm going to deactivate it for now for demonstration purposes i just want to accept 11.99 and now i am going to define whether i want to accept the payment monthly weekly daily or yearly i'm going to choose monthly so 11.99 per month so the product or service you are going to sell has any sign up fee if it has any sign up fee you can take any sign up fee which will be charged only once okay so for example 11.99 is monthly plan but 10 10 dollar is uh, sign up fee so first month you the user will charge 10.10 10 plus 11.99 and from the second month user will be charged only 11.99 this is a one time fee i do not have any sign up fee so i am turning off it so if you are selling any um, software like products so trial days is very important and you can define trial days so what will happen in this case the user will enter his uh, card or enter give his paypal info but the user will not charge instantly so i have 10 trial days so when the user pay the user will not charge but their information will be saved and after 10 day the user will be charged 10 is the trial days for this product Okay, you can activate trial days. I'm going to deactivate it for demonstration purpose. And how much billing times you have? How many how many time you want to charge the user? Okay, so leave it zero to charge um, each month until cancelled by the user or requested by the user. So I'm going to leave it zero. If you want to accept only six month or only twelve month, you can define it here and give it a value zero to charge it um, each month okay so i'm going to update this field so setting successfully updated so let's go back to the preview and see the form actually what it look like so here is the name here is the email address and the subscription item 11.99 per month as you can see you can customize it from here you can give it any name subscription item and this level you can customize it as you want and 11.99 for each month i do not have any sign up fee or has trial days so whenever i am going to submit the form with test purposes submit it oh the form has been submitted why let us debug 
so we set up the recurring payment item okay but we didn't add any payment method yet you can add card payment by stripe which is available with the free plugin or you can add paypal or you can give the user a choose whether they want to pay with paypal or stripe so select payment method you can give it so i'm going to take credit card and paypal both okay so update it and now go to the preview okay so now i filled up the information and i want to pay with card actually so whenever i will submit i will be redirected to stripe one thing i want to mention here is that whenever you are going to accept credit card with stripe you can use both stripe hosted checkout and inline checkout let me see now i selected the setting embedded checkout field so user will not redirected to stripe but the payment will be accepted here whenever user will choose pay with card they can enter the card information here actually and if we choose stripe hosted checkout which, which is i think most uh, secure and good actually so i'm going to preview the form and i'm going to use the stripe hosted checkout actually so pay with card and submit so the user will redirect to stripe now this is actually stripe hosted checkout so i'm going to use a test key okay these are test keys for stripe anyone can use it for testing purposes so, subscribe so the payment is completed and here is the success page you can define the success page as i have as i have told in the video earlier <clears throat> so now you can go to the entry section and you can see that the first one is pending because we go, we uh, when we clicked and we didn't set up payment and it's not completed so it's showing pending but the second one we just paid 11.99 with stripe test payment so it's marked as paid you can also see the whole uh, entry here the name the email and the payment and you can also see the submission log which event occurred actually and another important thing when you are accepting payment is the is the email notification okay you need, you can turn on the email notification so whenever someone pay you will get a notification in your email admin email this is the email you have used to create your site this is the admin email of the wordpress okay you can give your uh, any email here but i'm going to use the admin email and reply to definitely customer email whichever email the customer will enter in here is going to be the reply to email and now you can give a subject and you can get the data in your email also and here is the thing you need to click on on payment success okay after form submission only work when you do not have any payment method field so when you are using any payment method you need to check the on payment success and update now whenever someone will pay the admin of the site will be notified by email this is a very useful feature and you can use that so i think in this way you can accept recurring payment you can sell a service with recurring payment you can accept donation with recurring payment this plugin also for simple payment so let me show you this real quick so i'm going to remove the recurring payment option i'm going to delete it and i'm going to use just a simple payment item okay so it's not recurring just one time charge whatever i will define for example 100 and the payment item is going to be my ebook i'm going to sell the ebook for 100 so update it go to the preview form and the user only charge for my ebook 100 for only once it's not recurring so with this plugin you can you can take both recurring payment and simple payment and i think you will love the simplicity and the simple user interface and the simplicity of the plugin Thanks for watching this video and if you like this video just give a thumbs up and uh, you can subscribe as well.